And we'll just start right here. This is our first shot. So what we like about it is we've got overlapping transparent actors and they're moving on their own and then we have a modicum of music actually driving it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change Part 6 Structure. Today's episode, we finished, finished transcribing some vocalist works. Uh, this one in particular, which begins like this. What it means to play this hand. And it sounds like this. We learned quite a lot in doing that. And uh, the process we're calling, uh, we start with fast track transcription, guess a time signature, add pitches and words, working by ear from the vocalist track, which is this thing. We marked all the stanzas and the lines and all that. Then adding a beat track, which is this thing here. So this actually has a beat track. And it turns out, guess what? The, 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 the lyric matches the beat. What it means to play this hand, you must take what you can. Eat. And that allowed us to add uh, syncopation and to get a steady number of bars per line and a lot of little things to make it look like a consistent structure, which is the theme of today. And we actually started with this one, which is a very kind of jazzy thing. Changes up a lot. And it, it sounds so simple, it, it feels like, on a piano, but it sounds so rich when the vocalist sings it, so. Love is something for the hot sad. That was stanza three. And we were spending a lot of time on this, uh, learning some, uh, here. Again, over here, stanza three. Love is something for the heart. Love is. I better let it go all the way here. Love is something for the heart, sad, not inside. So, anyway and then figure out the number of bars per line and all that. Anyway, we got something that has a good consistent structure on both of them. So yay, we're declaring victory on that. Now we had already had a first transcription that we reviewed with the vocalist and it really helped to do that because it verified some notes that they did not want in here. So we cleaned that all up. Basically what we said is we synchronized. We synchronized our transcription. The pitches are synchronized to A flat major. The lyrics are synchronized, in this case, to two quarter time. And in this one, we had um, two quarter and three eight time because the chorus was in three eight. So uh, we then began uh, a new animation, which we just uh, showed you here. Not this one, uh, this one. And that is actually coming off of our darkness uh, improvisation where we wanted we were starting to add starting to add another again an incredible incredibly simple we're just marching up and down the scale except it's that special heptatonic two scale that we figured out by working with uh, to a wild rose. So our ideas for next time are to double check our transcriptions. We do have a review session scheduled. We may or may not want to explore adding some parts like harmony and all that. Keep working with the overlapping animation. 
we would really like to have three circles uh, and these are just kind of bouncing back and forth we'd like a little more you know two-dimensional motion uh, and and on this section here we really want to drive another another four sections we got four parts we want eight parts and and in two time shout outs to mr spatz chaz dog and trader one who stopped by we appreciate you tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming